Big Blunts. <laughs> Appreciate the love, my guy. Oh, shout out to Big Blunts. Big Blunts, what's going on, fam? Big Blunts and boxing on deck with it. What's good? We got Big Blunts and boxing, baby. Yes, sir. Shout out, shout out to my brother, Big Blunts and boxing. Shout out to Big Blunts and boxing. Big Blunts and boxing, what's going on, man? Uh, Big Blunts and boxing, what's going on, fam? Big Blunts and boxing, what's good? Shout out to the main man, Blunts and boxing, man. Blunts and boxing. Yeah, but hey, I, I know you're burning today. <laughs> I know you burning today, Bloods and Black, but uh, Bloods and Bosses. Stroll out to Texas. I ain't really see much. Went back to the telly, rode the blunt. Wish I woulda hit the jump. Feeling good and hood. Pop the 40 ounce and drunk it out the cup. Now I'm in here looking stuck. The alarm clock set, cause I gotta get the bag. When I hit that bitch, you know I'm getting up. Keep a pistol on my waist. If I see a nigga mad in my face, then you know I lift it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Blunts and Boxing. Hey, y'all, this is the first episode of boxing talk in the field man take y'all outside show y'all what we do to get our money you know what i'm saying to feed our family and kids on a regular basis man day to day that's what we do we get out here and we make it happen captain you know what i'm saying so today i'm gonna be uh making the key for this ford escape i think it was like a 2013 or 2015 something like that i'm gonna make this key for this escape program it to the whip probably unlock a house or something like that i don't know and uh Basically, just show y'all what I do. But in the meantime, yes, we're going to keep it boxing related. I know what you thought. Bill Haney's back on another panel or back on the panel, which would be H Money Mob. If you don't know, now you do. Head over there. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit the bell, most importantly, because you know YouTube do not be sending out notifications. Even if you do hit the bell, hit the bell. Make sure you select all, not personalized, but all. So you get all the notifications. Whenever H Money getting ready to go live and cook up that heat. You understand what I'm saying? So shout out to the H Money uh, Mob YouTube channel. Shout out to Taco who was on the panel. Not familiar with him on a personal level, but shout out to him because his energy was all the way 100 raw and real when it came to Bill Haney. And what Taco was saying, he kept it all the way solid. Shout out to my brother. I believe that was Timothy Stoudemire on the panel as well. Shout out to my dog, Timothy Stoudemire out of Michigan. I believe he in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with Detroit so heavy. Y'all don't even understand, boy. I done made, you know, I ain't even going to say what I done did to get to Detroit to do some things out there, man. I might end up in the pen, but you know what I'm saying? Listen. Anyway, shout out to them brothers, man. They kept it all the way real 1,000. I love the energy. I love how they didn't fold up just because it was a dude of importance on the panel. And, um, yeah, man, we finna get into this audio, man. See what Bill had to say. Again, this is Boxing Talk in the Field, man. Episode 1. Car key, house lockout, you know. Just just, just a regular day in the life, man. You know what I'm saying? Making that good money, taking care of the babies and the lady, you know what I mean? Doing what we do. So, listen. Without further ado, man, we finna get into the audio. Clip number one, Bill Haney jumps on the motherfucking panel and addresses Taco and what Taco had to say. Feel what I'm saying? Let's check it out. I mean, I had y'all back, but I'm not a fanboy, bro. I represent for my town. I represent for my... Hold on, hold on. I represent for my people. I represent for my people. But my thing is this. When I didn't hear you guys say anything to Secure Stevenson, bro, and, and, and when somebody come back and say, Devin Haney ain't said shit, nigga, what can I say? What can I do? I, I came back. I came back the very next day. I came live on H Money and said, after after Shakur got off the ring, he texted Dev and he told Dev, it's all some bullshit. They wanted him to say it. And I told him it was a publicity stunt. That's what I said. I showed a text to the world then, nigga, because he called out Devin Haney in front of the world on ESPN. Hey. Millions of people seen oh. that. Now you you hey. show the world where, where he said that. No, show us the no, text, no, man. No, 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 rather no, no, you was playing no, or not, nigga. No, no, we don't need no text. You not supposed to call you him. Not, text. Show the tweet. Bill, show the tweet, nigga. Of what he said. Show us what he said. Tell the world what he really said. All the rest you know, of that shit the is cap, bro. When a nigga hit, when a nigga hit, hit the text with the shit, so we felt some type of way. This nigga talking about exposed and all this shit, nigga. We trying to get to the bag, nigga. We trying to fight the niggas who the best, who's really saying it, nigga. Ain't no nigga gonna text you back after if that's what he want. But at the same time, you know what I mean. My job is to make the best fights happen with the niggas that want to fight, and you can get in touch with Dev. You can call mm -hmm. Dev. Dev done made the fights happen with. Cambosos, they have made the fight happen with Lenares, Jojo Diaz, and Gamboa. <laughs> and I'm sure, listen, and I'm sure based on what we're talking about, if the fight is on the table for Tia Fimo, I mean, um, um, 
Shakur Stevens. Shakur, Shakur, Stevens. Shakur wanted the dead. We're going to make the fight happen. Bob uh-huh. Barham said, okay, what, 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 what you got to say about that? Bob well, Barham said, I, listen, only thing I said is that I got, we got the text. I got the text and heard, and they've been talking. I heard after that I haven't heard back from Shakur saying that he want to fight Devin Next instead of, instead of Lomachenko. I said, we only got one fight at 135 left. We barely got that motherfucker. Hey, hey, hey. Alright y'all So y'all heard that first little part Essentially it, it sounds like You know the guys want Bill To ex, you know show the text Expose Shakur Stevenson for not really wanting that smoke With Devin Haney Only talking like he want that smoke You know come out with the come out with the proof uh, Show everybody That Shakur really don't want to fight Even though he said he did And Bill's like you know It I guess Bill saying there's no need to show the text. There's no need to show any proof when we know for a fact Shakur really don't want no smoke. He's doing all this outside shit looking for Teofimo Lopez Sr. because he knows Shakur don't want to fight. He knows that Loma's next and that makes the most sense because Shakur don't want to fight. The guys want the proof to come out that Shakur don't want to fight. I think I heard, I think I heard the homie uh, Tim say that Bob Arum and H Money also said this, but they that Bob Arum uh, wants the Devin and Shakur fight next in 2023 after Loma. Uh, but again, these guys have you know put it on record that they're not staying at 135 forever. You, everybody was very concerned with how Devin looked in the in the second fight against Cambosis. He didn't look much like he didn't look anything like what he looked like in the first fight preparing for that fight. Um, and you know they're not finna hang around and, and, and wait forever. So, you know we'll get we'll get to that aspect in a, in a little bit. But from what I'm hearing, the guys want to see proof that Shakur really don't want that smoke. And until they get that proof, then I guess it feels as though it can be it could be considered that Devin is ducking Shakur because he's going after Loma next instead of going after Shakur. It seems as though maybe some of the guys are going to other places and encountering people who are saying. That Shakur said he wants to fight Devin. Why is Devin trying to fight Loma and they both with ESPN? You know what I'm saying? So they need something in their back pocket, I guess. And I'm just, I'm, I'm totally assuming this. You know, I got love for the guys over there, a lot of them. But it seems as though they need something in their back pocket to respond with. Because, you know, in some in some cases it do make sense. But I guess that's why they calling out for the, for the tweet and the actual text or whatever to basically show that Shakur really doesn't want that smoke he's asking for. Regardless, I don't feel like any fighters are ducking any fighters because they're fighters, you know, and it's bound to happen. So we're going to continue next clip. When I went to the to, uh, um, you know, we went and talked to the WBA president. The WBA president said that they were going to order Tank and Deb to fight. And Tank said that that if they do it, he's going to go another direction. He's going to drop the belt. He's going to do all the other shit. So that meant that they wasn't going to get paid for sanctioning the fight. And I guess they had a, a, a choice whether to to still let him fight a, a, a regular fight or do whatever. And they chose to to do that, but they were going to order Tank versus uh, uh, Tank versus Dev. The WBA was going to order, it, but Tank didn't want it. That's the only stuff that I've ever heard about any sanction bodies and any order and shit. And I've been going to all the conventions and everything. Yo. You know what I mean? But what normally what normally happens is if you don't get, we've had that before. When you don't get somebody in, you, you know what I mean? You you when you don't get your mandatory or you don't get you get a chance to pick somebody, right? Right. But if somebody didn't pick you to become the mandatory, like Tiafimo, as soon as he got through with Lomachenko, he said he had a mandatory was George Cambosos. Right? If we had a mandatory, right, where the mandatory's at? We picking the guy. Uh, Lomachenko. They don't got hey, a Bill. We picked him. Hold up, homie. 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 Hold up, Hold on. Let me finish explaining something, and then you can, I, I, I'll reserve. So, only thing I said is, if Shakur could do it, because yeah. he was a champion, if he could do yeah. it, I never heard anything about it. The only okay. stuff that I heard about through any of the sanction of bodies was the stuff that I just said about uh, Tank Davis. Okay. All right, so if I'm not mistaken, I believe the question that was asked was, if Devin was a former, I mean, if Shakur was a former champion 
at 130, could he come up to 135 and instantly get a shot at the belts with Devin? Uh, and I guess Bill, you know, pretty much answered how, answer how he answered in that he doesn't know nothing about it. He knows what he knows as far as the situation regarding Tank. Um, and I guess they would have options, too, to pick whatever they wanted to do or, I guess, you know, choose from any sanctioning body, you know, who they wanted to fight. I, I, I'm not entirely too sure. So with that being said, uh, as far as the tank reference is concerned, because y'all know I'm from Maryland. I'm out here. I can make it to Baltimore in 15 minutes. You know what I'm saying? As far as the tank uh, reference is concerned, I don't see... I don't see why Tank would avoid Devin only for the simple fact that Devin would or Tank would be on Devin's terms as far as the money is concerned uh, with Devin being the champion. Tank would have to want Devin to come to him and seek out the fight versus Tank going to Devin and seeking out the fight so that Tank could have the ability to, the ability to control the money, I would assume. I don't know too much about that sanctioning body shit, and they kind of said the same thing about not knowing too much about the sanctioning body shit, both Bill and Devin. Uh, said that on the panel So you know I'm not too sure But I don't think uh, Tank would duck I don't know if Tank would duck a mandatory fight I don't think Tank would duck I don't I don't consider Tank any kind of duck And that's how I look at that situation So next clip If Loma If the Loma situation don't work out Would you guys be sending a contract to uh, Shakur Stevenson or something to try to get something done a Absolutely Absolutely. Absolutely. It don't have to be that it don't work out with Lomachenko. It just have to be that that's the big fight that everybody got off of Lomachenko. That's the only reason why Dev said that. We was thinking it is what, you know, uh, H, everybody else in here. Y'all said that it's Shakur. Okay, then it's Shakur. Oh. But, but, but listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, listen. But because you got all the belts, you have no pick. You already said that you're the guy. You have everything locked up. All them niggas is locked up. Inside one thing, Devin locked the door on the WBA, the WBC. I locked all of them in it. Uh, uh, Ryan Garcia, he didn't went somewhere else. Here. Listen, but one of you niggas unlocked the unlocked the back door or unlocked the screen. Tracor come through there. A couple other niggas come through there, and now we got a whole nother crop of niggas to decide whether or not Devin had cleaned out the lightweight division. But that's okay. I remember this in a Bruce Lee karate flick. You know what I'm saying? Bruce would go up one level. And then he'll go up another level. Then he'll go up another level. And yeah. then right when he get to the top, it's a bad nigga with a rope and a natural and all the shit named Jim Kelly. You dig what I'm saying? You yeah. got to get through him too. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? That ass. So, yeah. So, you know what I mean? Hey. All right. So, pause. Right there. I don't know if that's if that goes back to Shakur moving up. You know, the Bruce Lee reference. Bruce Lee moved up another level and another level. Somebody bad that he had to face. Um, I don't know if Bill's explaining that, you know, Shakur moves up. It's it's bad that dudes at 35, he got a face before he can just jump right into facing the baddest dude at 35. And if that's what he's saying, then I understand where he's getting that because it's like, dude, you just getting a 135, you're going to have to fight some of these dudes before you just come and see the undisputed champion just because you was a champion at 30. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to fight some of the bad dudes before you make your way to 35 to the to the to the baddest dude at 35 you understand what i'm saying and if that's the case then it goes back to what they've always said and what you're going to hear them say in the next couple clips is that they can't stay at 135 forever waiting on you to get through these couple bad dudes before you ready for the baddest dude you know what i'm saying so i think that's what he was alluding to you know bill kind of got his got his way with the words when he get to explain and shit and and and, and you know talking about uh karate flicks and all kind of shit using his analogies and examples and all that but I, that's what i got from it you know what i'm saying and i wonder if you know i would hope they understand that i get it you know what i'm saying but again i think they're thinking in the aspect that and there's nothing wrong with it but i think they're thinking if shakur called you out we either need to see proof he don't want the fucking smoke or you need to go ahead and take that fight because if you take that fight it's bigger than it's bigger than uh, you fighting Loma, you know what I'm saying? You out here doing all this shit with Tia Fimo, fight. You need to fight Shakur, but it's like, dude, you just got to thirty. They thinking like you just got to thirty five, bro. You know you gonna have to prove whether you like it or not because you was a, a champion at thirty. You still gonna have to prove yourself at thirty five, which they know he'll do. But again, they can't sit around and wait for him to do it. So I don't know, man. I understand, but you know, next clip. 
Yeah, let them know. Y'all ain't, never, y'all ain't never knew me to to duck not one person in my in, in my career from since I've been calling niggas out since Robert Easter Day since I wasn't even ranked in the top twenty. So for y'all to think that I'm ducking or I'm dodging anybody, that's that's far out. I'm not even that kind of fighter. I'm not even that kind of nigga. I don't, I don't duck. I don't dodge. I want to fight the best fight, the best fighters. I want to make the best fights. You know what I'm saying? Out there. So it. So for Shakur, for Tank, for To, for Loma, I want to fight all of them, one by one. Though we, I can't fight them all in one fucking day. Right now we set up. All right. Fight. We, okay. We, so we, we, we set up. Oh, so set up. Not a court to ass bill. You will fight. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let him go. Dev, you finna fight Loma next, right? And Bob Arum said that the next fight gonna be with Shakur Stevenson. Nigga, what's happening? Well, it's looking the tweet, nigga. It's, it's, <laughs> everybody, everybody know what I'm lined up to, to who I'm lined up to fight right now. And well, Loma that, Chanko. See who, yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah, so, so Bob said it's on the table. He said that's the fight he want to make. That's top rank, right? ESPN, let's get it for the undisputed all, we, at 135 listen, we, for all the belts. We, 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 we all know the fight that Bob wants me to have right now, and that's with Loma. And after that. Shakur can get it. Whoever can get it. Let's yeah, go. All right, let's go. Let's go. But, let's go. But, that's listen, all we want to but hear. I'm gonna tell you this, though. Let's go. But, 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 nigga, we not at 135 for 30,000 years. Yeah, let them finish. Hey, nigga, hey, but hey, you niggas is talking, nigga. What the fuck you talking about, <laughs> nigga? Ain't go, nigga ain't gonna be at 135 for 30,000 years, nigga. No, I know, no, hey, I know. Nah, that, yeah, that's, hey. that's one thing I'm not gonna do. Hey, I don't want to clear up on you. We know this. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, hey, I just want to clear up some shit because. I ain't never said Secure Stevenson was, I mean, uh, Devin Haney was ducking Secure Stevenson. All I said was, I needed some get back because I ain't seen you say nothing about him. So I can't get back. I can't clap back at nobody. But listen, though. But, 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 if but I don't got no, though. hold on, hold on, Dev. If I don't got no information to, to, to clap back at a nigga, I can't, I, I don't got nothing. No, I understand, I understand your point. But listen to this. Any nigga but I never that come said you to, was any, ducking. Any nigga that come to the weight class who the top nigga in the weight class? Who the nigga with everything? Where if you want something in the weight class, who do you have to go through? Undisputed Haney. Okay, so what the fuck? The, you gotta go through that door, to, bro. The nigga supposed to and call Devin me Haney out. is that and door. Any other, and, and any other nigga that wants something in my weight class, got to supposed to call me out. If you if you don't call me out, then what the fuck? Right. Yep. But, but my question like, is, don't don't one, a- all right, back to what I said earlier, man. These dudes need their get back. You know what I'm saying? They haven't heard Devin say nothing about Shakur since that announcement, really. He ain't came out in nothing public. He just responded to Tank when Tank was on the Rise podcast saying what he said. He, they out there looking for Teofimo Senior. They trying to make the Loma fight. Ain't nobody saying nothing back to Shakur. They need to say something. They just, they got a, you know what I mean? They need something. They need some ammo. And I don't blame them. You feel me? Because it, these YouTube streets, it's a jungle out here. By the way, this kid's programmed successfully, baby. This bitch is working good. You know what I'm saying? Gotta love it. Gotta love it. But, uh, but yeah, man. So, you know, again, they not finna hang around forever. People understand what fight is next. Devin's not ducking nobody, which I believe, you know, Shakur, again, ain't ducking nobody. But he knows and everybody else knows just getting to the division, you're going to have to make a name for yourself at 35. Even though your name is solidified, we know what you're going to do. We just got to see you do it. It's that simple. Um, but y'all heard what Devin said, man. If, it, if Shakur wanted next, he can get it next. You know what I mean? But again, I think they know Shakur is going to have to do multiple fights at 135 before he come. Like, again, Bill said it. It's levels. You got to fight this dude and this dude and this dude for you can reach the baddest dude. And you know that's probably how they going to work it. That's probably how they going to move it. Um, so, you know, I don't knock the guys on the panel. I don't knock Bill and them for doing what appears to be the best thing for them. You know what I mean? Again, you know, it seems like they want to the smoke. They down for whoever they down to fight whoever, but it has to make sense. They. I'm not going to stay at 135 too much longer. Everything, like I keep saying over and over and over again, this right. shit got to make sense for me to stay in the weight class. You know what I'm right. saying? Because like like my pop said earlier, me and Shakur the same weight. We've been we, we, we've been the same size for fucking, since we was little kids. It always been three, four, five pounds where we was, you know what I'm saying, uh, ahead where I was bigger than him or he was bigger than me. So eventually we is going to meet up. It's, it's bound to happen. Man, please don't fight that nigga T.O. without if you, especially if you don't got a belt. Fuck that nigga. Man, listen, I'll fight all these niggas if it makes sense. It gotta make I know, sense. That's what I'm saying. I know, I know. I know. Listen, 
I want if my Devin son, go to 140, do he son. go to, do he hold go on, to hold a title hold on. or he just I want fight my somebody son. at 140? Hold on, hold on. Y'all got an opinion? Hold on. I want my son to whip Tia Fimo ass for all that shit. And H know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Tia Fimo seen all that shit. That right. We know what's up with that. Hey, 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 Bill, I feel that same way about Tank. That's how yeah, I feel about Tank. I want, I want Dad to be Tank ass so bad. Man. Ooh, I, 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 all right, so there y'all heard it, man. I chopped the audio a little too early. Y'all hear y'all hear Bill saying, no, 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 no. He said somebody yelled out uh they want to see him against Take. I believe that was Tim. But Bill saying, no, he wants Teal. You know what I'm saying? Um, and I I don't know. I, I know I feel like the energy be different with some of these fighters, you know what I'm saying? But they definitely want that smoke with Teal. Overall, man, y'all heard what they said. Devin ain't ducking nobody, and they gonna meet up one day. Bill also said it. I don't know if I caught that audio and dropped it in here, but Bill also said 130, 140, whatever, whatever. They're going to meet up, man. They ain't been separated by the way too long. I don't feel like the fight will happen at 35. I definitely feel like Tank, I mean, uh, Devin will see Shakur at 140. And and that's just that, man. I feel like all these fighters going to do what's best for their careers. They're going to make the right moves at the right time. Bob Aram going to set it up in the right way, the right fashion. And and that's just it, man. You know, no no need to really rush these dudes into seeing the fights we want to see because it's, it's going to happen. It's just got to be at the right. It's a perfect time for everything, right? Uh, so with all that being said, man, I support I support Team Haney. I'm not really a big fan. I ain't going to say, you know, I'm not pressed to catch every Haney fight. I'm a, you know, you know what I mean? I, I'm a ride with Tank and side with Tank overall because I'm a Marylander. I'm from the 410. You know, I grew up here, born and raised here. I got Maryland tattooed on my neck. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I, I I love my state. I love my home. I love Tank. You feel me? I love what he do. I love what he do for the city. I love what they do for Upton. You know, the Rise Podcast, shout out to them. They they, they gave me a personal uh invite to, to bring my babies over there, you know what I'm saying, and get some, get some love over there, teach them, let them learn something. So with that being said, man, y'all got to see me in the field. We got to talk a little boxing. This is the only the first episode of Boxing Talk in the Field, but we're going to be back with some more. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all for the support, man. Y'all see we got these keys programmed. We got the door open. You know what I mean? Easy work. Just, you know, a day in the life of a of a Maryland locksmith, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Chop this boxing up with y'all on the next one. And if you don't know, now you know. Big Blunts in Boxing. H-Money the Mob. We out.